Pick'em.com. Ty, if you look at uh, your season high in threes, which was tonight, and then the previous one was 18, also against the Hawks, and then this team has the NBA regular <laughs> season record for a game and postseason record for a game in threes, all against the Hawks. When you come into playing them, it, is it a point more so than normal to look for the three? Um, not so much. I think um, they do a lot of double teaming, um, you know, tilting with the big. So that allows Braun just to pick the guys apart. So he's able to make passes over the double team or, you know, guys cutting for layups. And uh, when we're playing with pace and getting out in transition, um, it's tough for those guys to get back and get met. So um, it's just a credit to the guys, you know, offensively just doing the right thing, making the right plays. Tristan played all six of his minutes in the first quarter there, and then was was gone. Um, was was that your plan, or did he tweak? Well, we wanted no, we wanted to give him a six or seven minute burn um, in that first quarter, and then the second half he was, it was already you know game plan. He wasn't playing in the second half, so um, wasn't able to work him back in the second quarter. But um, he, we knew he wasn't playing in the second half at all. Ty Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. A number of your numbers since Jose Calderon has been the starting point guard have gone up offensively, assist-to-turnover ratio, offensive efficiency, things along those lines. Do you think it's a coincidence, or do you think that he's been a big part of that, and why do you think he's such a good fit? I've been a very big part of it. Just you know, be able to knock down shots, I think, be able to handle the basketball so we don't have to have it in LeBron's hands as much you know, to wear him down. And you know, just, just being smart. You know, He's a smart player. Um, doesn't make mistakes, you know, a very good shooter. And just having a true point guard on the floor really helps us. <laughs> JR tonight, um, eight assists, which is one short of a, of a career high, and, and uh, he only took a couple shots. Um, was that part of the game plan for him to handle the ball as much as he did tonight and, and do what he did? It seemed, uh, it not really. Out of <laughs> I mean, he got excited once he, he saw his numbers got up assist-wise. He got pretty excited about it. So um, I said, man, you still got to take your shots. And then that's the one he made a three in front of our bench. But, um, you know, when he's making simple plays and making the right reads, you know, he can pass the basketball. So um, that was good. Just, you know, just make sure we stay under control. How has he um – so, I mean, he got off to a rocky start shooting the ball, and you know that, that subsided. How, how has he been able, or what kind of contribution has he made? As you, you know, guys what you know, just Jr. He's really matured, you know, since you know he first came into the league, and um, just understand it's about winning. And I think when he got here, um, you know, if you, if you on other teams, he's worrying about shots and getting attempts and stuff like that. But now he's gotten older and understands it's about winning. I mean, just been great. I mean, for a guy to play. You know, defensively, what he does, he has a, the toughest assignment, and they only get five shots, sometimes three or four shots, and he's okay with that because he wants to win. So, just seeing him mature and, um, you know, the things he's done over the last four years of you know being here has just been great for him. Jason Lloyd, the Athletic. Le LeBron's last couple of years in Miami, he was ultra focused on efficiency and shooting percentage, and that and taking high percentage shots and. This year, he's shooting even better than any of those years. Have, have you noticed him being focused on efficiency, or, or why do you think he's shooting it? Not only shooting it as well as he is, but well, I guess he has shooting at the the percentage that he is. I think the three point shot, like you said, you know, he always can shoot the basketball, but just shooting it with confidence and adding that to his repertoire as far as offensively um, is big for him. And then that opens up his driving. So when teams are going under, he's making shots. Now they got to go over, and now he's going to pick you apart. So um, you got to kind of pick your poison. But when he's shooting the basketball as well as he is, he's tough to defend. And then, you know, with the guys on the floor, just giving him space and to get downhill and get into the paint, and guys are scared to help. So um, he's been playing great, you know, very efficient, and um, that's what we need from him. Dave McBenham in ESPN. Um, how would you correlate the season high in three pointers tonight? versus the um, career high in, in assists for LeBron. I mean, did you get the 17 assists? Did LeBron get the 17 assists because you got the 23 pointers? Or did you guys get the 23 pointers because LeBron got the 17 assists? That makes sense. I don't understand. Like, will LeBron be getting 17 assists more often if guys were shooting better? Like, is he, make, oh, okay. was he making the same type of passes tonight? Just you guys happen to make. Yeah, I mean, shots. they were they were tilting. They were double teaming. 
And um, like I said, when you double team LeBron, he's going to pick you apart. So we was able to make shots, and we also got a few cutters going to the basket, um, finishes around the basket also. So um, the double team just pretty much opened up everything for us. And you also um, you trade away one of the best three-point shooters in the league um, this offseason, and now you've set a franchise record tonight, 17 straight games with 10 threes or more. What does that say about uh, either the roster construction or, or you know the offense that you run that you're able to set this record having – Got rid of Kyrie Irving. Um, just you know, we still got a lot of shooting on this team, and um, you know, still having Isaiah out, who, who's a great shooter. Also, um, I just think you know it's just important to have the right mix of guys on the floor at the same time, and um, that's what we've been, we've been able to find as coaches and as the players. We found the, the right pieces on the floor to go with each other, and that kind of opens up you know three point shots for our guys and spacing for other guys. So it's, it's a it's a good match. I'm mean, a good fix for us. Hayden Grove, Cougan.com. Uh, Ty, I'm just wondering how you got through the game and uh, what your status is for the next game. I'm day to day. I'm day to day. <laughs> we may have asked this a hundred times. I, I don't know, but when when everything fell into place the first year, everyone was together. It, a lot of it had to do with the trades that fixed the roster. Bringing them on here, bringing Jr. here, it, it balanced the roster. It fixed it fixed the flow of everything. Why would why did this seem to get fixed overnight? What was there a magic bullet in your mind? I, I mean, I know you set on rotation and everything, but was there one piece or was there one moment there, one thing that allowed this to fall into place as quickly as it did? I'll think about it. I'll let you know in a couple of days. Good enough. Thank you. Thank you.